Shortly after the fall of the Thakori dynasty, the Malla dynasty came into effect. This period of Nepal's history started with the rule of Malla in the 12th century who slowly started to build an empire. The Malla line was of Nawari descent, and the dynasty was able to rule Nepal between the 12th century and the 17th century. The period was characterized mainly by growth and development, as many Malla kings took it upon themselves to develop new systems, to establish great cities and to institute new methods of government. The Malla came to Nepal from India. They had their kingdoms in India. They were afraid of the growing power of Ajatshtru. So the kings fled towards the Himalayas. The Malla founded their states in the hills. When the Thakuri became weak in the Kathmandu Valley, the Malla's power grew. It is said that, Aridev Malla, was the first historical Malla king, of the Kathmandu Valley. The term Malla, meaning wrestlers in Sanskrit, indicate a person of great strength and power. This long Malla, period witnessed the continued importance of the Kathmandu Valley as a political, cultural, and economic center of Nepal. Other areas also began to emerge as significant centers in their own right, increasingly connected to the Kathmandu Valley. During the reign of Jayabhim Dev, Mala, the fifth Mala, ruler in 1260, 80 artisans were sent to Tibet. Among them was Araniko. Araniko was the only person from this early Mala era whose biography is known to us in some detail. He was one of the key figures in the arts of Nepal, Tibet, and Yan China. He was born in Kathmandu Valley, during the reign of Abhyamala. During the reign of Jayabhim Devmala, he was sent on a project to build a golden stupa in Tibet, where he also initiated into monkhood. It was during the Mala dynasty that the kingdom now known as Nepal truly became a great empire. During this dynasty the foundations for the great city of Kantipa, which later became Kathmandu, were laid. Over the course of five centuries only certain Malla kings are accredited with major achievements during the Malla reign. The first and foremost was probably J. Stiti Malla, who had both a positive and a negative effect on his fellow countrymen even though his reign was relatively short. J. Stiti Malla, with whom commences the later Malla dynasty of the Kathmandu Valley, began to reign at the end of the 14th century. At that time the condition of the country was very bad. There was political disturbance in the palace. The country was economically weak. There was social disorder. A competent and resolute ruler was necessary. J. Stiti Malla made reforms. He reorganized the caste system by assigning each caste its own occupation, dress and manners. He made temples. He was a lover of literature. He encouraged Sanskrit and Nuari languages. He wrote poems and dramas. He brought economic reforms. Land was divided into four classes according to the production of crops. He introduced measuring units called mana, pathi, pau, and dani which is still in use. He introduced the system of imposing fines on criminals. J. Stiti Malla was a great reformist. He was an expert politician. He brought political stability in the country. There was peace and prosperity in the country. He died in 1395. The Malla dynasty of Nepal started to fall into a decline shortly after the last major king Yakshaya Malla died. Yakshaya Malla ruled over Kathmandu Valley during the end of the 15th century, but was unable to carry on tradition by handing his crown to only one son. Instead he divided his kingdom between his three sons, probably in an effort to avoid conflict. The three valley kingdoms became known as Kathmandu, Paktapa and Partan. After the death of Yakshaya Malla in 1482, the Kathmandu Valley was divided up among his sons into three kingdoms of Bhaktapur, Kathmandu and Partan. The rest of what we today call Nepal consisted of a fragmented patchwork of almost 50 independent states, stretching from Palpa and Zamala in the west to the semi-independent states of Bar Napa and Farping. 
most of them minting their own coins and maintaining standing armies. This division led the Malla rulers into clashes and wars for territorial and commercial gains. After 1482, a crucial date in Nepalese history, the kingdom became divided. Ratnamla was the first to rebel against this system of joint rule, seizing Kathmandu in 1484 and ruling there alone until his death in 1520. Ramallah, the eldest brother, ruled back Tapa with the other brothers until his death, when the crown was passed into the hands of his descendants. Barnapa broke away under Ramamal until its incorporation into the back Tapa in 1649. Shiva Simamala, a descendant of Ratnamala, conquered Patan in 1597 and united it with Kathmandu. On his death, however, Kathmandu and Patan were given to different grandsons and again separated. The center of Nepal thus remained split into three competing kingdoms roughly based on Bak Tapa, Kathmandu, and Partan. The influence of these petty kingdoms outside the valley varied over time. Bak Tapa extended its feeble power as far as the Dudko Sea in the east, Kathmandu controlled areas to the north and as far west as New Wakot, and, Partan included territories to the south as far as Mark Poor. The period of the three kingdoms lasted until the mid-18th century. The complete flowering of the unique culture of the Kathmandu Valley occurred during this period. And it was also during this time that the old palace complexes in the three main towns achieved much of their present day forms. Niwari was in regular use as a literary language by the 14th century and was the main language in urban areas and trading circles based in the Kathmandu Valley. In the west, the language of the Kes was slowly expanding only later to evolve into present-day Nepali language. By the 17th century, the mountain areas to the north of the valley and the Kirati region to the east were the only areas that maintained traditional tribal communal systems, influenced to various degrees by Hindu ideas and practices. In the west and the south of the three kingdoms, there were many petty states ruled by dynasties of warrior. In the near west, around the Narani River, there was a loose confederation of principalities called the Chobizi Rajchai, including Markwanpur and Palpa. In the far west, around the Kanli River there was a separate confederation called the Baisi, headed by the Raja of Zamla. The confederations were in constant conflict, and their member states were constantly quarreling with each other. The kingdoms of Kathmandu, Partan, and Bhaktapa periodically allied themselves with princes among these confederations. The rivalry between the three kingdoms of the Kathmandu Valley found its expression not only in warfare but also in the arts and culture. The outstanding collections of exquisite temples and building in each city's Dubar Square are testament to the huge amounts of money spent by rulers desperate to outdo each other. The building boom was financed by trade, in everything from musk and wool to salt, Chinese silk and even yak tails. Listed here are some popular kings in Malla period. After the demise of grandfather Shiva Shinga Malla, Laxmin Arshing Malla ascended the throne of Kantipur in 1585 AD. It is believed that he constructed Kasta Mandap temple from a single sal tree. Partan had no good relation with Kathmandu. Sidi Naras Sinamala forced Kathmandu to conclude a treaty with Partan. Of all the Mala kings of Partan, Sidi Naras Sinamala was the greatest. He was a virtuous, wise, and kind hearted man. He built many water spouts, inns, ponds, temples, and monasteries. He built the famous Krishna temple of Partan. It is a masterpiece of art. Zagat Chyotamala was a poet, dramatist and musician. He wrote drama named Kunj Bihari and played on stage. He started the festival called Biscuit Zatra New Year. Pratapmala was influenced by religion, music and the art of welfare. He was a Hindu, but accepted other religions too. He reconstructed the Buddhist shrine of Swayambhunath. He built Krishna Temple, the temples of Talizu, 
Rani Pokhari as well as Gahiswari Temple. He constructed the Hanuman Doka Palace and majority of the buildings around Dubar Square during his reign. He introduced Seto Machindranath Jatra, and the octagonal Krishna Temple was built in 1648-49 by Pratap Mal as a response to rival Siddhanishing Mala's Krishna Temple in Patan. Across from the Krishna Temple, standing on a slightly raised platform in front of the Hanuman Doku is the square stone pillar, known as the Pratap Tevaza. It is topped by a statue of King Pratap Mala, seated with folded hands and surrounded by his two wives and his five sons. He looks towards his private prayer room on the third floor of the Digutalaza temple. The column was erected in 1670 by Pratap Mala. Kalbairab is said to have been brought to its present location by Pratap Mala, having been found in a field to the north of the city. He started the festival of Gaisatra. Pratap Mal also placed a large Vajra placed in front of the stupa and he also added two white shikha temples, known as Anantapa to the southeast and Pratapa to the northeast, which were built in 1646. Apart from his religious influences he is considered as the most powerful rulers of the Mala dynasty. He often fought with Lalitpur and Bhaktapur to annex them to his kingdom but could not succeed. His main aim was to annex Lalitpur to Kathmandu, but his aim was not fulfilled as the king of Lalitpur had the king of Gorkha on his side. In 1634 AD, when Sidi Mala, the king of Partan, was engaged in performing Kotiham, Pratap Mala seeing an opportunity made a surprise attack on Partan and conquered some of the places important from the strategic point of view. Jaya Prakash Mala was the last king of Kantipur. During his rule, Kantipur was attacked by Gorkha. He tried to save the valley from the assault of Gorkha by calling for unity among the three states around Kantipur but could not succeed. It. Calling army from the East India Company was also not fruitful and ultimately the war was lost to Gorkha. Fighting within his family was also partly to blame. Another king from the Malla period was Ranjit Malla who was the last king of Bhaktapa. As a lover of rare and precious things, he added many courtyards at his palace and to improve economic conditions in his kingdom, he imported silver and exported it as coins. Indra Zatra and Kimari Zatra The chariot festival of Kimari started in 1756 AD during the reign of Jaya Prakash Mala. Bhupatindra Mala, the king of Bhaktapa was a religious person and an art lover. His structural reforms were 55-windowed palace or Pachpanajaya lay dubba. Bupatindra Mal also built a five-storied temple called Nyatapal. On the steps of the temple there are images of wrestlers, elephants and lions. Inside the temple is set up Siddhi Lakshmi, the goddess of Dantras. He also wrote 17 dramas. Mal has ruled Kathmandu until Prithvi Naran Shah of the Gorkha kingdom invaded it in 1768-69 AD with the Battle of Kirtipur. The last Malla kings were Jaya Prakash, of Kantipur, Tej Narsing, of Partan and Ranajit, of Bhaktapur. This ends the presentation of mid-era history of Nepal. After Malla period begins the modern era of Nepal's history. Thank you for watching.